It was standing room only at Parkside School. Over 60 people turned out to hear the candidates' platforms. Incumbent Mayor Robert Hazlar has been acclaimed already. He says he is looking forward to the next term working with the alderman elected. We always have some little spats, but overall I think our council is really stuck together as a council, so and I hope that you keep that. Five of the six from the current council have chosen to run again, though one, Don Numweiler, was not present at the forum. Dwight Kilpatrick has served since 89 and explains he hopes to continue the progress. Jim Steinke has had a seat for 15 years. He spoke about wanting more sidewalks on existing roads. Eric Solberg says he would like to spend a second year on council and believes some of the best parts of Medicine Hat are actually in Redcliffe. Sheree Brown is also looking to grab a seat for the second year in a row to continue projects already in the works. Ernie Reimer is a fresh face to campaigning. He says he would like to further beautify the town. Kathy Crozier is the other new candidate. She stated one of her priorities is supporting small businesses. The youth centre, keeping up with growth and attracting more businesses were all spoken about. But all the candidates seem to agree that the main issue facing the town is the ageing water treatment centre, which is set for renewal near the end of the upcoming term. Uh, we've tried to go regional with the city, but it's worked. from what they're offering water to us, we're probably cheaper, better off to build our own. So that's the, kind of the way we'd like to go, but the province gives us our grant money and they have something to say in it too, so we'll have to see what they come up with. Advanced polls in Redcliffe are open starting October 7th. Brianna Carson-Smith, Chat News.